Start recording. There we go. So, so again, I, I get this question all the time. Uh, do you have a favorite OS? And the question, as I said before, sometimes is you like Arch, right? And that's not it. That's not it. I, they say, what, are, what distro do you use? And I'm like, why do you care about my distro? And I'm just going to start this whole video by saying one thing. It does not matter what distribution you use. You know, the whole right tool for the job analogy, it it generally holds for for distros, I guess, a little bit. You know, it definitely holds, that analogy holds for languages, you know, or miter sauce, you know, power tools, things like that. But when it comes to distribution, another one it doesn't hold for is keyboards, right? Who cares what your keyboard is? Everybody's got different fingers. They all work differently. Everybody's got different things to deal with. So it doesn't matter. Your Your distro, in my opinion is on that side of the scale. It does not matter what distro you use as long as you can be productive with it and it suits your style and how you interact with it and stuff like that. Now, I, it also goes even more when you, when you talk about terminal, right? So because I am a terminal native, I do terminal everything, uh, I don't care what my computer is, let alone my distro, as long as I have a terminal, you just get a terminal. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Give me my, my RC files and I'm good to go. And that, that has been a long time, uh, regular theme over here at RWX Rob is how ubiquitous just being able to use a terminal anywhere actually is. And all of the things that you would do, all the decisions you would make to keep yourself able to use a terminal anywhere. Uh, I, I, I mean, Terminal with Bash shell, yeah, Linux terminal, yeah. Because I, yeah, I, I, I would be horrible in PowerShell, but these days, if you have a computer, you have a Unix Bash shell very close by, right? So it's built into Mac still, even though it's the old one, you have to update it. Uh, it's you know one WSL two install away on Mac on Windows and will be the standard in the next release. Did you see that? In the next release. Windows comes with WSO2 and Bash automatically. So if you, you know, so that's your OS. Obviously Linux comes with it. Um, and, and so that, yeah, so that's, that's, that's my answer. I, my, if I had to pick like an OS that I enjoy using, you need to know what my criteria are. Uh, so, so what are my criteria? Uh, my criteria are very different uh, from most. Uh, so it would be something like, you know, like, uh, what gets me a bash command line terminal, uh, as fast as possible. That's really it. Cause I, I'm use everything on the terminal. The second question is what has, uh, which distro, which, let's see, which distro, uh, yeah, I'm not, not interested in that. Yeah, that's their Linux release. Not interested though. Which uh, it's a server release. Which gets you, uh, uh, which has the easiest and most used package management. There you go. Management. All right. Uh, here's some, I want to, this is really important before we end this video. There's a few things that are no longer criteria, no longer criteria, uh, for me. Uh, and this is why Arch is no longer a priority for me. So it used to be, which, uh, has, uh, the best community. Okay. Uh, it used to be, which has, uh, you know, I'm going to say, uh, which has the most ethical main sponsors. That's a big one. Manjaro does not, <laughs> by the way, it's a c company. So, uh, don't give me sorry on that. No longer criteria, for me. which has, uh, which provides, uh, the best build environment. And the, the reason this is no longer a criteria, and I'm not going to put this in the Zettel description, I'm just going to tell you, is because 
you shouldn't be building on your main OS anymore, people. It's 2021. And even though I did that and, rec and thought Arch might be a better distro as four months ago, ever since I have been doing containers every day, all day, and I've been reading blog post after blog post after article about people who are doing their builds and entire software development teams creating containers to do the build so they have a consistent build environment. If you are using, unless you're building for a specific sort of device hardware, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. And if you are doing that, then maybe, yeah, maybe Arch would be a better pick. So like if I was doing kernel device driver development, I probably would do Arch, but I'm not. I, I would love to, but I would I would probably be doing that. Most of the stuff I'm doing is in the application space. Um, and I mean, even if it's in the low level space, you know, getting the right libraries and stuff is no, this is, this is another one. So which has the most uh, current software and libraries uh, releases cycle this is this is completely gone from my selection criteria uh yeah right this is completely gone this was a major deal before this is the reason people arts got so popular and a lot of and gen 2 and things like that because because people who wanted to live on the cutting edge of linux and help out with the whole effort they wanted to have software that you know was in it had a really stable it was like really edgy forward-thinking uh you know community you know that was doing it all and so they were all they all needed the latest uh it's not is for not caring about build systems when choosing an os is true for most os's but nix os is an exception as it replaces Do docker's raison d'etre yeah and there's a lot of people who like nix os uh i will mention nix os nix os intrigues me but not enough to actually spend any time in it and the the and, and captain a capitalist fanboy i i'm not against people who use nix os i think it's probably the most intriguing OS experiment out there right now, much more intriguing than Arch. So if, there you go. If you, if you, if you want to peg me, which one would I put on my system? How about that? Which OS would I put on my system to mess around with besides Pop OS because it just does the job and OBS works out of the box and everything? Which one would I mess around with the most in terms of like actually running it as a distro for my personal workstation? It would probably be Nix OS. That would probably be my first pick for screwing around with stuff. Now, I don't believe in screwing around with stuff on your main workstation. People, people distro hop. That's another thing. Uh, uh, I hate distro hopping. I, I, there's, I, uh, I have shit to do. Sorry, but I, I, I hate it. Get it. I got, get it out of your system. I don't have it in my system anymore. So I, I don't need to test out every single distro. What I would rather do is create new software and new value and, you know, have everything just work. And if you find it, it's funny because a lot of the old timers, and I'm, 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 I mean that affectionately, you know, we tend, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a trend. It's kind of like a trend. If you're certain, at a certain age, you're like, I really don't care about my, so many people, like, really crazy amazing technologists like rob pike who partially invented unicode and wrote his own os and put satellites in the, and go and everything he uses his mac you know and he's, he's unapologetic about it he's like i don't care it's like i don't I, and color is juvenile <laughs> so redox os next os for fun experimenting yeah, I mean, if you if you're still into experimenting with operating systems, and by the way, you should be. It's really fun to do that sort of thing. I just I just have no interest in it right now, and so so my if I were to pick the my actually the 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 how about this the OS that makes me the happiest right now is Alpine. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, the OS that just makes uh, me giddy when i hear about it right now uh uh although i would never use it as a personal os i would never make it my main workstation os is alpine and why why do i love alpine alpine has contains zero gpl3 software uh i love that about alpine that is like my favorite thing. Super minimal, uh, but 
but not too minimal. Uh, and it has a kick-ass package manager. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a great development at the time. It was at the time. It really was. I mean, people don't talk about Pond. I didn't know about it till Go. And then I started researching it. Uh, yeah. I love Alpine. Alpine makes me so excited. You know what? One of the reasons I love it so much is because it actually dared to thumb its nose at the entire <laughs> FSF and say, there shall not be any GPO v3 in any of this. Uh, I was up to date. Well, because it's very small, right? The other thing about Alpine too is it's, it, it caters to embedded. And I, I, I really, 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 really want to be an embedded programmer and developer and engineer. I'm 53, but I don't care. I've never done it. I've still got Kubernetes and everything to learn first. But that, someday, I swear to God, someday I'm going to write nothing but C. And maybe at that time, maybe Rust will have finally matured enough to give it a shot on embedded. But we'll see. So, uh, caters to embedded and containers. Uh, so, that's one of the reasons I really love it. Kubernetes on Pi. I'm going to do it. That's already coming. That's pi I'm planning that one right now. So, I mean, this, this is pretty much that's the end of this video. So I guess I guess you I guess you coaxed my preference out of me, uh, honestly. So so you know my criteria are different. I like things that run on embedded. I like I like stuff that works really well with containers. I love BusyBox and Alpine is based on BusyBox. You just have to research what that's about to know. Uh, has you know, w really wicked efficiencies. It dares you know Alpine dares to flip off the FSF, which I detest. I detest the FSF. The FSF is full of shit. They sh that should be their new acronym. Uh, and if you are doing anything with the FSF, fine for you, but don't tell me about it. <laughs> and so, so that's my favorite. I actually have a bad taste in my mouth about Arch because I've heard so much shit. Everybody tells me how about how awesome Arch is, and I'm like, okay, tell me why. And every time they tell me why, there's like nothing. There's like butterflies. There's like emptiness. Bullshit foundation <laughs> because I just look I'm just I don't I don't <sighs> I'm happy now end of video I should end the video I'm not trying to make a war here I'm just trying to you guys ask me what my favorite OS is and that's a that's a tough one so my favorite I I obviously Windows is my favorite OS for gaming uh I do play some uh I mean I you know I don't game that much but so not yet awesome embedded rust. <laughs> so many things missing to be fixed. I, that's what I'm trying to say. So if, <laughs> let's not do the rust thing right now. We'll do it for another day. I'm, okay, bye.